Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Ice Cream Fitness here. And today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the difference between exercising and working out versus training because we're talking about very different things here. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. Alright, I get a lot of questions from people all the time and they start telling me what's best for this, what's the best workout for this, what lift should I do and they don't tell me what their situation is or their goals are. And something people need to step back and realize is that there is no best routine, there is no best exercise, there is only a best routine or a best exercise for you personally in the situation you are in and with your specific goals. Now, talking about exercising or working out versus training, exercise is any sort of physical activity you do that stimulates some sort of potential change in the body. And exercise means that we're talking about short-term or immediate goals. You exercise to burn calories. You exercise to reduce stress. You exercise to blow some steam off because you're angry. But that is not the same thing as training. And it could be almost the same with working out. Working out just means you go do some weights or something. Training means that you are following a specific set of protocols with the intent of causing physical and nervous system changes within your body to reach both short-term and long-term specific goals. And those specific goals could range from becoming better as a soccer player, improving your vertical jump in basketball and your ability to throw the basketball further and faster, your ability to swing a bat faster playing baseball or swing a golf club better. It could be to build bigger biceps or just a larger, more muscular, more aesthetic physique. It could be to prep for a bodybuilding show. It could be to train for a powerlifting meet. And accordingly, your training needs to be specific towards your goals. And too many people, they don't stop and they ask, what are my goals? They don't define their goals. They go join a gym or they start working out without clearly defining what their short-term or their long-term goals are. And accordingly, they just pick things to do. They oftentimes don't even follow a true proper program with a progression system. They don't have a laid out program or they do things that is counterproductive to their goals. And so what I would tell most of you guys is that if you're not qualified to write a program, as I've discussed over and over, use a program written by an expert intended for people with your goals. And ask yourself when you're doing things, is what I am doing going to help me reach my goals or is it going to hurt me? and reaching my goals. And I'll give you a perfect example. If your goals are to be a better soccer player, as well as to develop a more aesthetic physique as a secondary, you really wouldn't want to do any sort of true bodybuilding type routine because a lot of bodybuilding training is going to slow you down in some ways or slow down your agility or mobility potentially on the soccer field or it might give you a poor strength to weight ratio whereas in if you were to go do an athletic based program that would make you faster out on the field and more agile and then do just a little bit of bodybuilding work to make yourself more aesthetic behind it and rebalance your physique you would better achieve your two goals or people don't stop and ask they just pick random exercises instead of going is this particular lift going to help me efficiently and quickly reach my aesthetic goals or my athletic goals. And it's the same with their training programs. I get people who come to me and they're on my novice program and I've clearly spelled off that that novice program is for people who are novice bodybuilders, first year bodybuilders, or people who've played around and they haven't followed a structured program who are seeking maximum hypertrophy throughout their entire body in order to become an intermediate bodybuilder. And people will say, well, I want to power lift and I'm doing your program. I want to get better at football or basketball and I'm doing your novice program. And I would look at them and go, well, you chose the wrong fucking program. That is a bodybuilder program. It's not going to make you that great at sports. You need to be on an athletic program for that. Or if you want to be a power lifter, you need to go get on a proper strength program. 
that program is not going to do it. It's all five to eight reps. And it's a lot of volume. It's not ideal for your goals. Now, you could build size off of it and then come back behind it and change over to powerlifting, but you're not going to be doing too well at your first meet if you run that program before jumping into it. So you need to pick programs that are appropriate to your goals. And again, pick programs written by people who really know what they're talking about. So put all that in perspective, guys. And remember, there is a difference between just working out and exercising versus training. And I would say that for most of you, you need to clearly define your goals, even if they're minor goals, even if you're new to lifting or you don't have extreme goals, you need to clearly define those goals and step back and ask, is any training or exercising or working out or anything that you're doing, is it really what you should be doing to efficiently reach your goals? Or is there something better that you could be doing? And could you be on a better, more structured program that is more specific towards what you are trying to achieve so that you don't end up wasting a lot of time and, and effort and energy into things that aren't necessarily getting the job done or that may actually negatively impact your long-term goals? All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you next time.